Good morning, we are up and going and it is a snow day today. So school's canceled, dance is canceled. I don't know yet if Zumba's canceled. So we have an Isabella here today, hooray. She's excited. But that has to work. What are you gonna do with your snow day today, Isabella? Make a snowman, try to though. <laughs> well you better be quick. It's supposed to, it's supposed to snow this morning and then this afternoon it's supposed to rain. It's gonna be warming up continually throughout the day. So what I told her is like the the rain is just gonna probably wash away all the snow. So it should be an interesting day. <laughs> but we're gonna have a snow day today around the house. That's cool. So I'm over here making my coffee. I'm gonna make the kids some biscuits and I've got little touches of Valentine's Day all around the house. I'm gonna do a video upcoming, but I'm loving this Ray Dunn stuff. So I've been on the hunt for that stuff lately. So I'm gonna do a totally dedicated video about it because I'm loving it. But I'm gonna pop these biscuits in the oven real quick. We're gonna work on laundry and it is just a snowy day. Let's go over here. No more Christmas tree. So this is what the living room looks like. I'm gonna do some updated home decor videos coming up soon. But this is what it looks like right now and it should look a lot different later on today because we actually did get a pretty good, you can always tell by looking at the grill. I mean, we got like probably four or six inches. But then by one or two o'clock, it's supposed to warm up and start raining. So it's gonna be a slushy mess, I'm sure, by this afternoon. Pretty to look at right now, though. My mom sent the kids for Christmas this homemade chocolate gravy. It's from Paducah, Kentucky, the general store. So we're gonna try this out today. I don't know if the kids have ever had the chocolate gravy. I had it sometimes growing up because my grandma would make this um, and my mom's always enjoyed making it as well so we're going to try making this chocolate gravy today from Paducah and see how this turns out. So this is what it looks like all mixed together and that seems about the right consistency. I think this is the first time I've ever tried to make this <laughs> so it should be interesting. It's really hot as you can probably tell from the steam. So the biscuits just have a couple minutes and then what you do is you just pour this on over the biscuits. And we're not gonna let her sleep the whole day. Natalie's still just sleeping. We were just discussing. It's 8.41 and Natalie's still asleep, so I guess we know what time she would sleep till if we didn't wake her up for school. So the biscuits are done. I'm just gonna put a little bit of gravy over them, let the kids try them. So there you go. Chocolate gravy over the biscuit. We're gonna let Isabella try this for the first time. Chips. Did you um, make this with a pinch of melted chocolate chips? It looks like it, doesn't it? Nana sent mommy a gravy mix that's like the gravy mix that Nana makes at her house. You get to try it and see if you like it. What do you think? Yummy. Yummy? I think it's pretty good. We have to change our Disney sign. Actually, this whole area may be changing today, so maybe I'll take a lot if it's a snow day. We'll just redecorate today. <laughs> I got a shelf over here at Home Goods. I'm gonna get all this stuff off. The kids use this as like an accessibility bin, but it's got like super out of hand. So I think I may just do away with it all together. But I got this really cute shelf and it's got a chalkboard sign on it. I'm gonna use this to hold mugs and stuff. I've gotta get heavy duty um, clips to hold it up with on the back. But I found that and I really like that. I'm gonna move this down to our bathroom downstairs because we need a sign or it's just anything in the playroom bathroom. So, and we need to change our countdown sign. So what do you think, is it thumbs up or thumbs down? Yummy. Thumbs up, oh, I hear pitter patters. <laughs> I hear pitter patters, Natalie finally woke up. Good morning. Good morning. Chocolate gravy, it's only 8.44, Natalie finally woke up. This is why we have to wake you up in the mornings when we have school. Sissy, did you look outside? Yes, it's snowy. It's snowy, it definitely is. There's no school today and no dance today. It all got canceled because of the snow. You want one of those like sissies? All right, we have biscuits and chocolate gravy that Nana sent for Christmas. Is some next today, Uh-huh. Natalie was like, it's like hot cocoa. It's like, yes, it's Natalie, exactly it. It's cocoa gravy. All right, here's some cereal for you. I'll get you a napkin because I think we're gonna need one. I'm using my Serenity mug, which is also from Ray Dunn, and I'm planning on making like a little um, like display thing over here with that shelf, and I'll like display these. I just love these little word mugs, and like the some of them have bigger words on them. What you coming to see here? You want to see what it looks like? <laughs> oh, Bella must really like the cocoa because hers is about three fourths gone. You like it, Bella? Yeah. 
Oh, winter in Michigan, the sound of snow blowers everywhere. <laughs> so I'm suited up and the kids are getting dressed. I'm gonna snow blow out tracks for us real quick. It's supposed to rain later, so a lot of this will melt off obviously. But um, I'm gonna get it cleared off enough so we can get out to go to the gym. So I'm gonna do our own snow. So this is our snow blower, and I maneuver this thing when my husband is at work, or you know, obviously he goes to work really early. So if it snows in the middle of the day, it's up to me. So I'm gonna do some snow blowing here. Yeah, it looks like actually because there's snow on the front of it. I think he actually did snow blow before he went to work this morning, but it you know just snowed all over again. So anyways. I'm gonna get this going and snow blow my side of the driveway real quick. All right, and we're off. And this is what you look like after snow blowing, which is why I don't get ready before going to snow blow. So I'm gonna go put some salt down because I think we have some deliveries coming today. And, oh, and um, then I'm gonna go get ready to go to Zumba. So. Welcome to Michigan when it snows. So I'm gonna grab some salt to put down and shout out for all of you guys that said you recognize SIUC. So we're using a Quattroscop to dump our salt, no joke. We had so many of these from college. And even though it's been 10 years, I still know the phone number by heart. If you are from the Carbondale area, you know what I mean? Call 549-5326, Quattro's Deep Pan Pizza. So let's see if I was right. <laughs> Little shout out for Quattro's here. Yep, 549. So I'm back inside and I'm gonna go get ready now and get ready for Zumba. It's about 10.30 and I'm gonna get, the kids should already be ready. I got them ready before I went outside. But the way that I snow blow, if you know how to do it, you probably don't have this happen, but I have it fly back on me a lot while I'm doing it. <laughs> so I just end up like covered in snow. So anyhow, I'm gonna go get ready now and do something about this. And we're gonna go to Zumba. Assuming they have it, I haven't, I guess they should check and see if it's canceled. I haven't heard anything, so I'm gonna go check. ready to go to Zumba. We're getting our cold weather gear ready here. The kids are taking extra shoes with them and snow boots. And we're gonna head over to the gym. I looked on their like page and I didn't see anything where it said it was canceled, so we're gonna go out and try it. It seems like the, the plows I've seen come past our house a couple times, so it seems like they're doing a good job clearing it out. It's just a matter of if it starts raining and then it freezes, then that's gonna be a huge mess. But we're gonna go try to go out real quick to the gym and fingers crossed it goes well. So I like your snow outfit, that's very cute. Really? Natalie's wearing her cat ears. Can <laughs> you show me your cat ears? She still has to fall over her face. So we successfully went to Zumba. Luckily they still had class, they still had childcare and everything. So we're gonna run and grab lunch and then be around the house for the rest of the day and it's supposed to rain at some point, which then it's just gonna turn into a yucky mess. And it's starting to rain. So we're gonna run into my girls real quick. I went and got the kids slushies at Taco Bell. They have strawberry slushies, so they're eating those back there. Um, the slushies in 30 degree weather. But um, I'm gonna try to make beaded garland and um, it looks pretty straightforward. It's like this, thing that's like popular in home decorating right now so if you are I don't know following like that style home decorating then you probably know what I'm talking about if not if it turns out fine I'll probably post a DIY video on it um, it's really simple and easy it's just literally a strand of unfinished wood beads which you can get at a craft store and so I was gonna make one of those to decorate around the house with um, possibly make two of them just depending on how it goes so we're gonna run in here and grab the beads real quick and luckily the temperature is just going up the rest of the day so at least it's not raining and then dropping it's supposed to be even like 40 tonight so it's not gonna go to 60 Isabella she said it's gonna go to 60 it's not gonna be quite 60 but it's going up into the 40s so hopefully this stuff doesn't freeze because that would be like worst case scenario like it rains and then it drops below 32 but that's hopefully not the case today. So we're gonna run in here and grab the supplies, and if that all goes well, that'll be a separate video. So obviously very excited about the home decor stuff right now. We are back home from running errands, and we're gonna have some of this cucumber avocado salad that I've had mixed up, and Isabella's gonna have some of this, Natalie's having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, have a little bit of lunch, and then we'll be hanging out around the house the rest of the day. Kinda nice to have lunch with Isabella. Are you working on your dinosaur sheets over here, Isabella? Yeah, dinosaur book. She's making a dinosaur book. And her favorite is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> so I'm loading the dishwasher real quick and then I'm going to go change the laundry out and get the laundry started. So I'm going to put all this in the dishwasher. And also, I think I forgot to show while we were out, we stopped at TJ Maxx on the way home from the gym. 
And I found some more of these Ray Dunn mugs. So these things, if you can find them at like TJ Maxx or Home Goods, this seems like it's hit or miss, but I'm starting, now that I'm like really keeping an eye out, I'm starting to find them. So I got found the Yours and Mine mugs, and they're red. So I thought that those would be cute for um, Valentine's Day. And what I really want are the ones that say Love and Sweetie. I, I love those. Those are the ones I'm really, really looking for. Um, but I haven't been able to find those yet. I also found these that say Hubby and Wifey. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to keep these, to be honest, but I feel like I had to grab them. These are the only other ones they had. These I know I like for sure. They're yours and mine. Those are cute. My husband, first of all, doesn't really drink coffee all that much unless he's just come back from a Mexico trip for some reason. I don't know. When he comes back from Mexico, he always says. But um, I would prefer other ones. So I would prefer like love, sweetie, uh, tea, coffee. Those are the ones I'm really looking for right now. Um... And I call my husband hubby, but he doesn't really call me wifey. That's not really something that we use. So I'm still kind of on the fence about this one. So before I unpackage that one, I may just try to keep an eye out and see if I can find any others, like the ones I'm really looking for. I'd really love to find tea, coffee, love, and sweetie. And then I think I'd be happy. I think I'd be good to go. Um, but I was happy to find this one. I think this will be cute for Valentine's Day. It says yours and mine. And it, these are so much cheaper if you can find them at Home Goods. So regular price, like these mugs, are like 20 bucks. But if you can buy them singly, they're singly one mug, $3.99. So definitely a lot cheaper if you can find them at Home Goods. So I'm trying. We'll see. So these are at TJ Maxx, but TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods is all owned by the same company. So if you have a lot of those stores around you, um, you know, you just have to keep an eye out because it's different every single day what they have. So I'm on the fence about these. Let me know what you think. But these I know I definitely really like. I was happy to get those. And these were only $9.99 for two of them when they were packaged together. So I got that all done and I've changed clothes from, or I'm going to. So I've got that all done and the sink's clear now. I'm going to go change clothes from coming home from Zumba and get laundry going. Here. So I'm going to take that laundry basket down to the washer and I have another load of my clothes that's so going to go down to the dryer and then I have these sheets. These are the flannel sheets I got at Target last week and I washed these up. These are washed and ready to go so I'm going to strip down our bed and put the flannel sheets on so my husband will be happy about that because he's cold natured. So I'm going to take that down and get that started and then I'll change the sheets out. Yoda, you are such a pain. <laughs> He's such a pain. Watch this. This is what he does when I'm changing sheets. He sits here, and if you put your hand under it, like trying to smooth it down, he sits there and attacks. He's done this since he was a little kitten. <laughs> he, always, uh, he always flips out about putting sheets on the bed. <laughs> You're a mess. So those are the new sheets. No thanks to Yoda. Now he's deciding whether he needs to attack the comforter or not. <sighs> he just hates when it's like bubbled up. So when you do something like that, he, he has to jump on it. And of course, like when you're putting the sheets on the bed, you have to do that to straighten them out. <laughs> Such a cat. All right, so that's done. There's still a cat on the bed, but it's done. <laughs> So, on to downstairs. You hard at work in here? Yeah. All right. She's making books and presents and gifts. Yeah, and it's all... So I got a box from Amazon, which I'm going to open up real quickly. And these are actually shoes that I got for the conference, which I'm going to do a video talking all about that coming up. Uh, I don't have a ton of details, but I'm going to just do, like, most commonly asked questions about this stuff. Because I do get a lot of questions, like, to my inbox and comments on Instagram and stuff. But anyways, I ordered shoes on Amazon because I was looking at shoes on Zappos and also on, I think, like 6 p.m. and DSW. And I just happened to decide to look on Amazon, thankfully. I look on Amazon for everything, like home goods, stuff around the house, everything you can find on there. And luckily, I happened to look on there because shoes that they had for like 60 bucks on DSW, they wanted 20 something dollars on Amazon. So I was just gonna get one or two pairs for this conference, but I ended up getting three. <laughs> and they were only $20. So I got three pairs of shoes 
for the price of what one would have cost me a Zappos. So it's a really good deal. So these are the Ann Klein Sport and I need something, this is tricky this time because we're gonna be doing conference days at Walt Disney World. We're gonna be doing conference days on the cruise ship. Obviously Disney World is a lot of walking and you need to be kind of dressed up. I mean, they understand that it's a theme park, but you kind of have to be, you know, a little bit step above theme park gear. So I don't really want to wear tennis shoes on some of the days. But then the question is, well, what do you wear? Because you've got to do, you've got to wear something you can do a lot of walking. So these Ancline Sports, the thing about the Ancline shoes is they're super comfortable. And the sports shoes are made for a lot of walking. And even though these are like dressy wedge shoes, people said in the comments that they wore these. Oh, it's a little bit sparklier than I thought it was going to be. Holy cow. Um, but anyways, people said that they literally wore these for like 17 miles, which is exactly what I need them to be able to do. So we're gonna try these on. These are a little bit more Dorothy than I thought they were gonna be. But we're gonna look at all of them and see how comfortable they are too. So here is the same style in black, and I think that this is glittery too. I think that they had non-glittery ones, but they are of course more expensive, which I think, you know, I know now, the black is definitely more subtle. I really like that for like at night. And I just tried it on and it's super comfortable. So I need to try on both of them and walk around. I like that. Like I feel like this is subtle enough. I can wear it during daytime. It's just a little bit of shimmer. I really like these. I really like these. They look like princess shoes. I think I'm gonna keep them because they were only 20 something bucks, but, um, and they are super comfortable, but I feel like I could only wear these to like dinner on the cruise ship. So I feel like they may be a little bit much for daytime, but I can always try with my outfit. These I like though. I feel like I could, those are a little bit more subtle. I feel like I pulled those off. And then these are not for <laughs> the, um, the cruise but as I was looking at the Ancline sport shoes these were only 20 like $22 as well and these as I'm sure you can tell by the box are boots and again supposed to be really super comfortable and I got these to potentially wear at home these are super cute so I'm gonna try these on too and see how these fit. these are really super cute so I think I'm gonna keep all of them these are super comfortable and I got my regular size in these two which was an eight and a half and I think that was the right size to get in those and then these I sized up on and I think that was the right thing to do I got a nine in these and they fit pretty good so not bad for the same price the Zappos wanted for just one pair of these I got all three pairs it's a pretty amazing deal I really like these um, I'm just hoping they're not too glittery <laughs> let me know what you think down in the comments these are super subtle the camera's picking up a ton of the glitter but I feel like these are gonna be more subtle on these since they're lighter they are a little bit more shimmery but like I said think I'm gonna keep them in for evening dresses or like nighttime events. I think they're really super cute. I was wanting a lighter pair of shoes to wear during the day, but we'll see. So let me know what you think in the comments. So I just made some wood bead garland. I think it turned out really cute. Actually, I think the DIY will have already run because I think I'm gonna run it on Friday of this week, which will be last Friday for you guys. So I'll just go ahead and show you, but I, I'm excited. I like how it turned out. I think it's cute. So I just took pictures over here in front of the window, but it's just a decorative garland. It doesn't do anything. It just is decorative, but I love, you know, obviously I love jewelry. So I just, I love the concept. So I just made that. It's just some twine and wood beads. It was super simple, especially if you've made jewelry before. It's really straightforward. It's exactly how it looks. So that DIY will be up and it's super simple to make and I'm loving that. And I might make some more of them in different colors actually. Next I'm gonna work on putting this shelf up over here in the kitchen. And I'm planning on redoing the stuff that's underneath it too. I thought this was really cute because it has a little chalkboard underneath here and then you can hang mugs or whatever you want off of these. And then it has a place for more items here at the top. So this is the picture that used to be up there. I'm gonna put that in the bathroom down by the playroom. And these were the, the like smallest heavy duty hooks that I could find. So I hopefully it shouldn't come off the wall with these things they're like massive so i'm gonna put these in the wall and see what this looks like so i just got this shelf up over here and i'm trying to make sure that it's level i don't know if you guys knew that iphone has this feature but the 
the problem is is that it's not ever really super exact because it has buttons on both sides so I'm gonna call one degree close enough because you have to make up for the like button being on that side so if I like level the button it says that it's level so it's levelish my engineer husband will come home and tell me how I did it wrong but for right now I'm happy how it looks so I'm gonna put a couple items that I have up there I'm so excited I love it I don't know when I'm gonna order the new chairs but I found the new chairs that I like I don't know whether I'm gonna order them before we go because I don't want it, something to happen where for some reason they get held up for like two weeks and then all of a sudden they get delivered while we're gonna be gone and then they're sitting outside and that would just be a mess so I think I'm gonna wait just cuz that's my luck I think I'm gonna wait until after we're back hope then they'll probably be out of stock but um, I have the chairs that I found that I like I'm gonna replace these with and this area, and then I'm gonna get a metal bin for down there to corral the kids' things. And I'm liking it, I'm liking these changes. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you do the farmhouse style around your house. And let me know what you think. So I'm gonna grab the items that I have to put so up So here are there. the things that I have for this area. I think I'm gonna use this beaded garland elsewhere. I'm actually gonna use the rest of the beads I have left over to make a shorter one, and then I'll probably put the shorter one up there. But I'm super excited. So I found these at Home Goods. So this is the Ray Dunn brand that I've been super into. So there's the pour mug that I found. And then I found this faux plant because I'm super horrible at keeping plants alive. And I like the bottom of this. So we'll see what we think about that up there. And then I was thinking like a little bead of garland up there. And then these mugs that we ran and grabbed today, I'm like waiting for the shelf to fall off the wall. Like, please don't fall, please don't fall. Um, <laughs> please don't fall. And I got the yours and mine today. Oh, it's perfect, it is so perfect, you guys. This is exactly what I was going for. So I realized that this is probably an acquired taste, but I absolutely love it. And then I'm gonna make a, a shorter, garland I think but that just that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm going for I love it I love it <laughs> sorry I'm getting girly giddy over here so I really really like this this is what I'm going for and then I just put that basket down there for right now I kind of want to get a black one to go with the I saw one today at Michael's that I liked I just have to go back and get it um, but it's like black with like wire on the edges and that'll kind of tie in the black from the iron on the chalkboard sign. But I am liking it, so this is kind of what I'm sprucing up the house and going for. And I love that I can write little messages on the chalkboard, like Happy Valentine's Day and stuff. Super fun. And the more I look at this, I do think I'm gonna take the hubby and wifey ones back and just hold out for the ones that I really, really want. And then, you know, it's joy. They have to spark joy. So this definitely is sparking joy for me. I love it. And I love how it kind of changes the essence of in here. And I have thought about putting, I really like just being able to look out this window. And in the spring, the window's still broken, by the way. They haven't fixed it yet. But after the window's fixed in the spring, I love, you know, having the windows open and everything. So what I'm thinking about is trying to just put maybe a half rod down here. And then if that's too much, then I don't know. I do like having it just big and open and just being able to see out the window. But that's what that looks like for right now. And then I may add some additional things. I thought if I ever did want to add like a little coffee bar thing in, there's a plug over here. So I could move that down over there on that side and then do like a little wrought iron like coffee bar area over here. Or I could put a chair over here. There's lots of options. We are having pork chops for dinner. So I'm getting this, getting ready to put it on the broiler. I've got some microwave baked potatoes going and the pork's in the broiler. Pretty quick and easy dinner. Let's be the pork chops and potatoes for dinner and they turned out really good. And that was a quick into our evening. Hopefully you enjoyed following along with us today on our snowed in take, snowy day here in Michigan. And pretty much all the rain has washed away the snow now. So. We should definitely have school tomorrow, so I'll see you in a vlog very soon. I'll probably be vlogging tomorrow, I think. So, um, probably see you in tomorrow's vlog and some other fun videos coming up very soon. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.